how to fix the mystic lights for your ARGB rig. So currently I have a uh, DF12025 fans and I have a BM450 MSI Tomahawk Max um, motherboard. So I want to sync every fans that I have with the motherboard LED. Okay, so I started uh, searching for solutions on Reddit. So I saw similar problems with my motherboard, which is the LED lights. So yeah, the LED lights are not accurate, especially when you pick a color in the middle of two RGB colors like red and blue. So if you go to like deep purple, you cannot get that color. But if you go to a lighter purple, purple color, you can get that. But yeah, since my fans are ARGB, they should be able to use those colors because, you know, uh, it should be synced from the motherboard to the fans and to my RAMs and my CPU cooler. So, I want everything synced. So, since RGB is very popular nowadays, so like they said, it adds frame rate per second, which is ridiculous. I mean... Yeah, I know it's a meme, but yeah, you know, it's really funny that there are a lot of people out there um, trying to, you know, add all this thing to their motherboard and to their rig. Although, it, yeah, I, I admit it's very, very good. I mean, it adds, um, you know, cool gaming effects to it. So anyways, back to the solution. So, yeah, how did I end up with this solution? So... Actually, it was an accident because our city is experiencing a lot of power cuts. So I had to like turn off my PSU from the switch itself. So the, the solution is very simple. You have to turn off your PSU from the switch itself, not just the CPU power switch. So whenever you shut down your PC, you have to switch the PSU switch off so that all the the led uh settings in your fans and in your motherboard will reset to its default so but there are still some things that you need to do especially when you are using um the rate cooler from amd 3700x so if you want to control the rate to its full potential you have to download the cooler master rate software so but before anything else, I would like to mention that I am using a B450 Tomahawk Max without the 3-pin header for the ARGB. So that's why I am using the GamerStorm converter. So I found a person on Reddit with the same setup as me. And he, he was also asking why the fan LEDs doesn't sync with the motherboard. So this is the fix for you, uh, whoever you are. So... I'm going to post this on Reddit so all of you can, you know, access this even if without the video. So, the I'm currently using HA01 uh, Fun Hub where uh, it's from ID Cooling where I put, I, I mean where I connect all of my fans to it, all the six fans that I have and also... When uh, I connect the HA01 to the converter and the converter to the motherboard. So it converts my 4-pin headers to 3-pin headers, which is the 5 volt. So, yeah. There are some uh, issues when you do that setup. So this might be the fix for you. So as you can see at the moment, my fans are called... Uh, yellow green in color and it should be the same color with the uh rate prism which is a deep orange so i just did the reset so that you can see what is the problem on the led so after this video i will turn off my pc and reset everything and i will show you how to manage the softwares so that they don't conflict with each other especially the rate prism and I mean the mystic lights and the uh, cooler master rate so yeah so first of all so that we can eliminate all the conflicts on the mystic light 
we will download this uh, Revo uninstaller. So this Revo uninstaller is like the DDU for video cards. So this will remove whatever uh, traces of Mystic Lights you have on your PC. So if you just install Mystic Lights on your PC, you don't have to do this. But for those who are having problems like, um, for example, they, they, the Mystic Lights are randomly changing the LED lights even though you're not doing anything. So that's most probably a bug mystic light so you want to uninstall it using this um revo uninstaller so how do you use this uninstaller so you just have to open the exe and you go to the msi mystic light so once you're there you click uninstall and you just follow the steps on how to uninstall it so it will prompt you that you have to delete all the registry and all the files just click on delete all and that's it so once you uninstalled your mystic lights what you can do is you can install it back again without these errors or something else then you can now set your favorite color and it will reflect on your cpu if it does not reflect then we'll go to the next step which is turning off your computer and you just turn off the PSU and wait for like 10 seconds or something and turn it back on. So I am going to make a video on how to fix the lights. So as you can see, my computer started with a red LED lights on the fan. So it means that uh, the, uh, the LED lights was set to default again. So that's your sign that it did not load whatever color did you you set before you turned it off so before you turn it off i forgot to mention you need to go to services.msc and find the mystic light underscore services to have to disable it so that it will not run on boot so if you do if you will not do that it will load your previous profile so you don't want to do that so after that uh, after you turn on your computer you go to services.msc go to mystic light to service uh, i mystic light underscore service so as you can see my mystic light service is disabled so we're going to set that to manual and we're going to hit apply and start the mystic light so now I'm going to show you how to edit the lights. So usually you just have to open Mystic Lights. So we'll have to wait for that. So there we go. Anyways, so here we go. So as you can see, I am using the deep orange color, which is the 196 red and the 55 green. So zero blue. So that is my orange color um, setting so now we're going to turn this off we're going to close it then we're going back to services msc once your color is loaded you just have to set it to disable again or you can just um set it to manual and just stop the service so i choose to uh, make it disabled so yeah it doesn't interfere with any other software that deals with um, lights so now I'm going to show you that uh, how I con uh, I mean how I control my rate prism so yeah here we go so I downloaded this um, cooler master rate so I already did a profile so I'm just going to import it so we go so hit apply so now i'm going to show you how my computer looks like so there you have it guys so this is a very simple uh tutorial that i did on a whim <laughs> so i'm not really prepared and i just want to share this um tutorial and fix for you so um you saw my computer there that it's already 
color orange, deep orange, or whatever deep colors that you want, this will work with uh, the PSU fix. So you just have to turn it off whenever you turn your computer off or shut it down. You have to turn off the PSU switch. So with that, that will <clears throat> reset your LED lights and you just have to rerun the Mystic Light services and yeah it's a bit hassle in your in a way because you have to do this every time you start the computer or else if you just shut it down it will go back to what it was which is the yellow green fan so yeah i hope this helped you so i will post this on reddit all the steps and i will link it down on the description so Tell me what you think and I hope this uh, fixes your problems with ARGB so I cannot explain further why this uh, uh, fix works but yeah it does because you know if someone can explain why this, this fix is uh, like this I mean you know I'm not a hardware expert or something but you know I'm just a self-taught computer um, you know uh technician maybe you call it so yeah that's it for today guys and i'll see you next time bye